What's going on guys, Gomes here, back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Well, we, we took a gaze, we took a gander from afar on the 8th inning program, we spread open those cheeks, and uh, got th 300 stars, we completed it. We have finished the 8th inning program for uh, layman's terms to spare you the NSFW details. Uh, so, that means of course we have a ton of packs to open as well today, uh, and if you did not know, there is also a pack sale, 50% off. Uh, something tells me the odds might also be 50% off. Uh, so we have a 50 pack bundle on top of everything else that we got, excluding the Conquest. If you guys want to see the impact locations, I bet you can find it in the top right hand corner of this video. And uh, uh, a bunch of steaming piles of dog feces for headliner packs, absolutely no good sets until we get to set 48. Uh, and then the big shebang shebang, we have our 8th inning program choice pack. So before uh, we get real hot, we uh, get the wax just dripping off of our hands from this uh, virtual paper we're about to rip. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below, that'd be pretty cool, that'd be sweet in fact. And uh, subscribe, that'd be fucking awesome. Let's get into this one man, 64 the show packs uh, again, as I was alluding to. There is a pack sale. We pulled, I think, five diamonds out of our last box. The signs don't exactly point to me having the best RNG today, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. They are uh, considerably low. Uh, do let me know in the comments section, though, y'all, how close are you guys are to completing the eighth inning program yourself as we get a, we get a diamond, hopefully soon. If he can hit a damn worth lefties if he can get uh, two base hits in one week against a lefty he is probably gonna go diamond he is so close he's hanging on by the smallest thread you know the like the Hanes the five dollar Walmart t-shirts that quality of thread that thin away from getting that blue shield up at the top right uh, so that's a pretty good pull somebody who I thought would be hanging by a similar thread but of course uh, he, he's made out of glass, and that that's not even knocking him. It's just unfortunate. Here we man. go! And, uh, okay, that is fortunate. That is quite good fortune indeed. Our first diamond pull of the day. Let's give it a next tap. National League, a starting pitcher, please. That's what I like to see. Okay, I, I don't know the odds. Never tell me the odds, little bitch! Should have told me I'm Aaron Nola. Ah, okay. A good pull. Ah, I'm sure I probably could just hit the uh, the quick sell for five thousand. Uh, I don't anticipate he's gonna go for uh, much beyond that, but it does count as our first diamond. Yeah, uh, misfortune. The Yankees and I's both. Uh, this is a topic that I wanted to talk about. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about the New York Yankees. I mean, they've basically adopted since these last couple years that they've been dealing with so many injuries, Judge, Stanton, a couple of them. Uh, kind of the Patriots next man up mentality. But for Christ's sakes, they have guys like Jody Mercer playing now. What the fuck is next? Are they going to start having Zoom call interviews for Yankee fans to see who who, who can maybe play? Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, but Christ, man. Basically, anybody you can think of. The Mayhew was hurt for a good while. He's back now. And the players that aren't injured, like Gary Sanchez, isn't doing a goddamn thing. He might as well be on the I.L. Uh, luckily for them, uh, they did expand the playoffs. Let's just hope uh, the Tigers or the Baltimore Orioles don't steal that spot from them. Uh, but I do want to talk a bit about World Series favorites. Uh, let me know your World Series predictions down in the comments. Uh, I might heart a couple. Uh, I might even take a gander at some of them for future giveaways. So just to let you know, let me know what teams you think are going to be in there. I'll be honest. Yankees Dodgers was my pick before but honestly I'm starting to look at a team like the Rays the Athletics the White Sox I don't think the Indians are really there just because their offense is so putrid I really don't trust them uh, especially they can't be trusted uh, as Mark would say they're liars and can't be trusted we saw what they did in the World Series they blew a 3-1 lead and the team that, that's had the dishonor to be worn by this big, sweaty, masculine mountain of meat. Uh, for Christ's sakes, man. The, the twins gotta get their head out of their ass. I, I think they might have chronic diarrhea because their shit ain't consistent. They'll go from winning four games in a row against good playoff teams to getting swept by the Tigers, for Christ's sakes. Or the Royals, which has happened twice this year. 
Ah, I really don't get what the Twins issue is. I think they're the sixth or the seventh seed right now, which is, is postseason area. Uh, wouldn't have been last year, but uh, thank you, Robert Manfred. Uh, but hey, uh, I guess that's all you could expect from Minnesota sports. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Blair Walsh gets a max contract for the Twins here soon. Th these packs have not been great. We got that one diamond, which uh, was cool to see. Uh, I I'm not disappointed, uh, even though it wasn't the diamond that was on the top of my Christmas wish list. Uh, I will take it. In fact, I, I, I would love to see another Arenola here soon. Five more packs to go. Man, these packs reek like Funyun breath. Cool Ranch Dorito having ass breath packs. Uh, let's get the undesirables out of the way. Uh, I also do want to talk about August Player of the Month because we do have a confirmed date. I haven't had a chance to discuss that with y'all. Uh, it is going to be this next Friday. We are going to be seeing that. We have no idea who is going to be in there, but uh, that's where I pose the question. Who do you guys want to see in August POTM? I'll be honest. I don't think Tatis is necessarily going to get it. In fact, I don't necessarily think he's going to get it at all. I think a guy like... Maybe Juan Soto, Trey Turner could steal it from them. Technically, Tatis, I think, only had about the 10th-ish best OPS in the month. Uh, when a guy like Juan Soto, I can definitely see him getting instead of Tatis. Uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, like I said, well, we don't know who it could be. It could be David Fletcher for all we know. It's not going to be Jose Altuve. Uh, that, that is the one thing uh, that has been confirmed to this point. Uh, four more gold player packs. Just get these out of the way. Whoever said being a pessimist didn't get you good things in life. Eh, it's going to be a starting pitcher again. Okay. Similar position. I know I said I wanted another Nolo. Still fuck you. Worse. E even worse. I guess I appreciate the non-troll. Ah, um, uh, a guy I thought could go diamond, but Lau has kind of cooled off a bit now. Uh, Alright, uh, it is out of a ball and pack, so... That does bode well towards my RNG heading forward. Uh, I guess... Last one here. Yep, alright, double gold. Uh, we do get a Walker Bueller. Maybe could stumble his way up to diamond again. Uh, we're gonna have to see. Uh, but we're also going to have to see if these headliners are going to be bad as I think they are going to be. Uh, we do get to own the use me home runs, Matt Olsen. Uh, the A's are such a good team, man. And if, if guys like Olsen really turn it around, it's going to get another potential diamond. And Corey Seager, the best Seager of all. Uh, if Marcus Seaman starts turning it around, if Frankie Montes can get kind of healthy... The A's are going to be dangerous. I picked them to win the AL West towards the beginning of the season, and people laughed at me like I was telling a joke. Who, who the fuck is laughing now? The A's are really, really good, and our lock at pulling golds is really good out of these. Maybe, could you tune it up a bit? All right, this is the only one that really matters. Uh, this one does have the Duke. We're not going to pull the Duke. All right, well, shit. What? How did these packs get here? I, I have no idea how they somehow stumbled into my inventory, but it appears as if we now have um, five more headliner packs, and uh, uh, I, I'm not really excited for these. I, I have no faith in the show packs again. We were so good on them. We cashed in so hard last time. I feel our luck is going to be detrimental for the next good while, if not the rest of the year. These are for Royce Lewis, who I believe still goes for a large amount. I don't know how many we opened, but we didn't pull a diamond. Again, I, I would like to th I would like to think they're saving my luck for this. I have a twin shirt on. Did I wear it for this occasion? No. Because I didn't even anticipate I was going to be opening these. I thought my packs would be a bit better to where I didn't have to. Good sign. Good sign. Cashman, baby! Fuck yeah! Let's go! That's huge! Uh, I did wear it for this occasion. I laid it out on my uh, on my bed the night before, just anticipating this moment. And 99 Royce Lewis. 
I'm definitely trying this card out. The card art uh, uh, makes me almost bust a nut alone. Not even to mention what he might do on the playing field, actually, in the game. So... I'm happy. That's a really, really big pull. Uh, I don't care. Uh, give me a diamond still. We get uh, Miguel Sano. Okay. Uh, a little hard to be upset there. That was a nice way to end things off. I'm glad I decided to bust out Mom's credit card to get the extra couple packs right there. Um, again, top style cards. It looks like you are going to need them for August Player of the Month. Just keep that in mind. I wouldn't sell these off yet. Especially considering we didn't see any of these cards in the Conquest map in the pack locations. So I'll just grab former Ray Grant and... Uh, not so Ray Great. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll double up. We'll double up on the Sunshine State. Uh, here we go. We have the Henchman Pack. Uh, I really don't like any of these cards, I'll be honest with you. Ian Anderson doesn't really have the pitches that I would like to see. Uh, it's not bad. It's kind of like the Dolo, a right-handed the Dolo. Sean Murphy... He's not even going to crack the top five catchers I have in my inventory right now. And Mitch Keller, uh, again, I really just have no interest. Sure, ju just give me your Mitchy boy. And uh, here we go. Uh, this is where we come in hot. We have Clayton Kershaw, first of all. Uh, this, of course, is going to be the most popular pick. Is it who I'm going to pick? Uh, I don't know. Wait and uh, find out on the next episode of Gomes to Legend. 113 stamina, 102 hit 9, 110 K9, 98 BB9. Pitches, the repertoire is the same from last year. Bit of a critique. I really wish they made this an MVP card. I do believe that was in 2014. He did win the MVP award. Uh, it would have been cool to see a pitcher actually have that in the background. Uh, I'm nitpicking. I know. Uh, gonna throw a 95, maybe 96. Uh, curveball, great differential, of course, than the sinker. Yvonne Rodriguez, again, I just have better catchers. I like the looks. Maxed out defense, 70 speed, 115 contact aside, 100 plus vision, and 90 power aside as well. Raise your hand if you'd like it. A good card. I don't love the swing though. That's kind of the big thing uh, making me not love him. I did enjoy Ty Cobb's swing a lot when I was playing the... Uh, the showdown, he was he was kicking ass. He was uh, doing the damn thing. Uh, 125 maxed out contact both ways. 90 power both ways. Uh, 99 speed, more or less diamond defense at center. 95 reaction. Only downsides the arm. Not horrible. Not Jacoby Ellsbury bad. Uh, but you'd like to see a little bit more honey mustard on that, but it is usable. However, I am not going to be picking Yvonne, and I am not going to be picking Ty Cobb. I'm going to be picking uh, Clayton Kershaw uh, for the gameplay later today. I do plan on at least having gameplay for Cobb and... Uh for Cobb and Kershaw. Uh, this one should be out later today, so oh, ring that notification bell, baby, and you probably will get alerted. Depends if YouTube's feeling it or not this day. Um, I don't know. Pax, I really don't like Paxton this year. Uh, so we're gonna have Kershaw start on the bump, and we'll probably throw in Royce Lewis there for today's gameplay as well. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think as far as the 8th inning program goes. Who are you guys gonna be selecting? And uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below hopefully your packs do as well as mine do in the second half hopefully you pulled royce lewis and not a Renola or sunny gray thank you all for watching hope you guys have a great day